This is Amri Trulchung Rinpoche. He's the abbot of Ju Moha Monastery and is responsible for the monks and nuns living there. He's also the leader of the lay community of the area. Seeing the plight of both these communities inspired Rinpoche to start an aid program known as the Vista Project. Its aims are to improve living conditions for Tibetans and to preserve their unique culture. The home base of Vista is the town of Sershal. It's nearby to Jumoha. This part of eastern Tibet was called Kham. It's now a part of the Chinese province of Sichuan. The people of the region are known as Kampas. 90% of them are nomadic yak herders. They derive their income from the milk products, meat and wool the yaks produce. The campers live in large tents, which are easy to dismantle and transport to new grazing areas. Two factors have brought enormous changes to the camper way of life. Climate change has substantially reduced annual rainfall, stressing the vast yak grazing fields. Also, a new local government law now compels nomads to move from their tents into permanent housing, for which they must pay. The old skills they used to make a living are no longer relevant. Lacking any formal education, they're faced with the formidable task of finding a new way to survive. Most campers earn on average $200 a year, which makes the transition from nomad to householder very difficult. Having few skills to meet the challenges of their changing situation, many fall into despondency, spending their days with nothing to do and no purpose in their lives. This sad situation is particularly problematic for young people who while away their days drinking, smoking and playing pool as a way to counteract the boredom and futility that has overtaken them. In 2005, Vista was set up to tackle these problems. A commercial building in Searshal has been found to house the Vista programs. Thanks to the generosity of international supporters, an initial down payment was raised to secure ownership. The VISTA program has three main objectives, skills training, education and cultural revitalization. The first task was to identify ways to provide immediate solutions to the growing problem of poverty. Because 75% of adult Tibetans in the area are illiterate, it was necessary to find jobs which didn't rely on reading and writing. The growth in the Chinese economy has resulted in a huge increase in the number of motorbikes in Kham. Repair and maintenance of these bikes is a key service which is easily learned and provides immediate job opportunities. Vista has created an apprenticeship scheme that is currently training 25 young Tibetans. A restaurant and hotel operate in the Vista building, providing food and accommodation for locals and tourists. Tibetans are trained as cooks and waiters in the restaurant. The hotel provides training in all areas of hospitality, from cleaning through to hotel management. Vista provided microfinance loans to set up the restaurant and other small businesses in the region. For many Tibetans, learning to read and write is an impossible dream. The existing schools provide a dismal standard of education which lacks any real dedication from the teachers or commitment from local government. Children who do attend these schools find any enthusiasm for learning steadily drained away. Virtually none of the children who endure this process go on to high school. They're left illiterate and untrained. Education is a VISTA priority. A school has been established where 25 students are being taught by monks to read and write. The school is currently operating from within a tent, but the long-term goal is to build a large permanent school capable of providing education for all nomad children within the social area. 
The design, construction and decoration of the ornate and elaborate Tibetan buildings was developed in a society without machinery and is still the preserve of skilled artisans. Maintaining this skill base is essential to the preservation of Tibetan culture. VISTA is helping to ensure these traditions are passed on to a new generation of craftspeople by providing training programs in the arts of carpentry, stonemasonry and tanka painting. Although many of these people cannot read or write, the traditional teaching methods of Tibet have allowed them to learn these skills. This has not only given them a livelihood, but self-confidence, dignity and a renewed sense of purpose. This is the new meditation hall of Jumoha Monastery. It was built in partnership with VISTA thanks to the support of many Western donors and is a focal point for the nomadic community of the area. VISTA also supports the education of Jumoha nuns and monks with a sponsorship program through which they are provided with books, food and clothing. Through these programs, the poor people of Searshall County are being given new hope and new opportunities. Everyone who works for VISTA is a volunteer, and every single dollar you give is sent to Tibet to fund these programs. To contact us, look on the VISTA website, www.vistaproject.org.